wonders and worries of nanotechnology. Brought to you by Science. Mindy knows that a nanometer is small and that products made with nanomaterials will have an impact on your life. America, land of aluminum foil, microwave ovens, and the electric can opener. New products are popping up around every corner, and many products could contain manufactured nanomaterials. Gee, sis, that was one swell taffy pulling party. I'll say. Gee whiz, just look at this mess. What a stink. Good thing we have this new air freshener. It'll smell spiffy in here, lickety split. Wait, Denny, before you spray that can, you should check the ingredients. That air freshener may contain untested nanomaterials. Denny is in a pinch. This can does not say nano. Why so frosty, sis? Don't get hard boiled, Denny. Clearly listing nanomaterials on products is not completely regulated by our government. Regulated? Regulated means having rules or laws, Denny. Mindy is cooking with gas. Products created using nanotechnology only require limited testing for toxic chemicals. If a company misses a vital test, it could possibly be bad for our environment or our health. But companies wouldn't want to purposely put consumers or the environment in danger. Aw, oh, gee. I wonder what our dad would think. Yes, Denny. What would dad say? Companies and the government should work together to develop regulations because regulations can help reduce the risk. Then companies would have a much easier time planning for the future use of nanomaterials and products when more effective rules are in place. Wowza, Denny, you have Dad down to a T. Thanks, Mindy, but I still feel unsure. Well, the needle thing about regulations is that they are changeable. Companies and scientists can conduct research that would help the government develop better regulations. We won't be stuck in a pickle for eternity. Nanotechnology is amazing and has the potential to change our lives for the better. That's right, Mindy. Rules and laws can change. But what can you do if you would like better regulations? Why, you can start a petition, write an editorial to your local paper, start a special interest nano club, write your representatives, and you can always exercise your consumer buying choices. Well, golly, Mindy, that was really keen. I only wish there was a smart educational film for us to watch. Don't worry, Denny. The best thing we can do is learn as much as we can. That way, we can make educated decisions about what products we use. Mindy, I'm going to make sure to learn more about products before they hit the scene. Speaking of making the scene, we better get cracking on planning this weekend's weenie roast. It is sure to be nifty. <laughs> Weenie roasts are nifty indeed. So is knowledge. And knowledge is worth entertaining. As always, your local science museums will be happy to help you search for more answers.